Welcome to Poker Buzz, people, live from the hive. I am Sula, and on today's episode, we are talking live with the Canadian who, within six months, who is already making a name for himself among some of Queensland's finest semi and pro poker players. I called it people six months ago and said to watch out for this upcoming young gun, so I won't keep you all waiting any longer. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Mina Yerries. Hello. Welcome, Mina. How's it going? Yeah, good, you? I'm very good, very good. A bit tired, long two weeks, but uh, we're good. Yeah, recovering from um, not all poker, I've heard. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit of party. A bit more, yeah. After after that week at Townsville, uh, I decided to stay for another week, and uh, yeah, we're recovering. Party like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> and a well-deserved one. Yeah, so, was. Mina, just to get everyone to speed, for those who didn't watch or have heard, congratulations. Thank you. Um, for coming second in the main event up in Townsville at the Ville 600. What a great effort. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, you're welcome. So, Mina, just to let you know, obviously you do know, but for the others, I watched the final table right till the end. Um, I even had watching in the kitchen, back in the office. It was like, oh, my God, what's going on? So with that final table, a lot of them were your friends. Um, yeah. Yeah, off the poker table. So just firstly, how did that feel? Um, well, it was, um, it was a little bit weird, but um, because – obviously like every man for himself on its final table or even in any other tournament or with three or four tables to go um but in the same time um i couldn't believe like it was there was aroha there was rowan there was lee that i finished heads up with who was my roommate is my very good friend as well um so like there was few names even with two three tables to go we all know each other and somehow we all managed to make it very deep in that tournament so it was very fun very exciting it was an amazing experience but in the same time you like Oh, okay. I hope I don't lose my relationship with my friends. Just like, <laughs> so, um, it, it was good, but everyone respected each other, and and we knew what's at stake. So, um, we we kind of felt comfortable, and we got used to it. And then I was very happy for everyone, obviously, to make it. But at the end of the day, like um, we all wanted to win it. So, um, yeah. So it was good. It was cool. <laughs> awesome. So just going into the main event, um, did you fire the one bullet or? So I took a big risk, Sula. Um, yeah. It's not. I'm not advising this to anyone. But um, basically, I went uh, Sunday, uh, the first flight, and I managed to get 15 big blinds to day two. Um, and I thought it was okay. 15 big blinds. We can we can do something with it. That's going to be a different strategy, obviously, heading to day two. But um, I had uh, a good week in general. I finished fourth in uh, the six max um during that week but the day two was only the next sunday so i had a lot of time to um to think about what i wanted to do and um it came to saturday that i just woke up went to the pool uh, i wasn't planning to play anything uh, i was a day off but there was like two flights for day two the same thing main event and i decided to you know what let's fire another bullet and try to build a bigger stack um go into day two and 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 try to go way more than 15 by 15 big blinds um it was obviously a risk um to pay 1200 dollars and still stay at that 15 big blinds but i was willing to take it and um it actually worked out perfectly um but yeah so obviously the second bullet was a bit more loose um i was picking up spots because people didn't want to bust and me i really had a bag so i was taking a little bit more risk and it ended up with 33 big blinds heading to day two. So doubled up pretty much my stack a little bit more. Um, so the risk was worth it. And then I was get, heading, getting to day two with 33 or 32 big blinds instead of 15 bigs. So, so yeah, 15. two bullets. Yeah. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so that must have been the uh, the pool in the air that did that for you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on the table, I saw you... Like, you just grinded. You grinded so hard. Um, I was frustrated for you um, sitting <laughs> sitting between that 
1.5 mil to that 3.6, uh, you'd go up to the 3.8. I think at one stage you hit just over the 4 mil. But you were there for like hours, Mina. Um, did that disrupt your play in any way, like your mindset? Did it have any impact on how you were playing? Not at all, actually. It was kind of part of my plan um, to stay a little bit under the radar till we get to five or six players and then press the like the gas after that and try to pick up my spots. Um, because different times, like w different times when it either two tables or one table, um, I haven't, I didn't have the best seat. Um, I had very aggressive players or chip leaders on my left sometimes. And on my right, it was like pros. And so I was like always in the middle of, of the, you know, the wolf pack. So um, I tried to um, contain myself. I tried to stay calm. I picked up my spots. I stayed a little bit under the radar. I grinded for long hours and it paid off um, because when we, uh, when we were only five or six players to go, then you saw me playing way more aggressive um, and picking up yeah. spots and making up those bluffs here and there just to pick up blinds. Um, because obviously I used my image that I was kind of quiet for the first uh, two, three hours of the final table or even the, the last two tables. Um, and I had a good stack to stay like in the bushes, you know, just like to not uh, bother anyone, not get any bother anyone to bother me. And then all of a sudden I just uh, switched it up a little bit with five or six players to go. So it worked out good and um, I tried to stay calm and I tried to stay patient. Um, I wasn't worried about anything, to be honest, except my game. So I didn't try to change anything or I didn't adapt to a, a different situation because things worked out till uh, we're in the last five or last six. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, you just displayed, Mina, like that definition of what they say of patience and endurance in a poker player. Um, you know, you just took it all in your stride. And in a way, I was so proud to be, you know, a friend of yours just to watch you, how you were just so calm and you took, yeah, you just took everything in your stride and just went for it, like you said, which was great. Um, yeah, Because um, he did. It was hard to, uh, we started at 10 o'clock in the morning and um, when we were like two tables or one table left, it was already like seven, like we've been playing for hours and hours. So I had to stay calm. I had to find a way to stay calm and not waste this opportunity that, okay, well, this is it now. We can, we can do something. And so, yeah, I, I didn't um, deviate from my plan whatsoever and uh, stayed calm. And like I said, it worked out and thank God for that. <laughs> no, it was awesome. Then we get to uh, heads up with Brad, yeah. and um, he had a bit of a gap on you. Uh, just um, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. But then Mina comes through, like, and then you close that gap and you're coming to that 11 million. He's got, like, that just 14 or just over 14 million. So close, so close. And then you battled that a little bit for a while again and then it all changed. So... Was there a changing, what was the changing point for you that got away, so to speak, of narrowing that gap? Um, to be honest, it was actually unreal just to finish heads up with my roommate and my very good friendly. Yeah. Um, it was it was unbelievable. I, like I couldn't, I was so happy on the table. I was just like, honestly, if in my head, it was like, I, I win or I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy of everything that happened. I will. And I had like my very good friend in front of me playing in front of these guys and all my, uh, all the people around. And it was just like, it was unreal. It was just like, how the hell did we end up heads up? And every time that someone would get eliminated, we'd look at each other and said, well, maybe this is happening. This is happening. And, <laughs> boring. and it's just like all of a sudden, wow, we're heads up. So um, it, it was difficult in the beginning um, to even think about okay maybe i can win this because he had a massive chip leader he just took out the third place um in a massive pot so he had like i think over 21 million and i had like a little bit over 4 million so he had like five or six to one chip lead but um i am not very experienced heads up um but i decided that okay well this is it we're gonna get out with a fight i'm not just gonna make it easy for him um and we didn't talk about any deals or anything because for me, I thought it would be a, a lack of respect to him because he has such a massive chip leader and there's no point of me talking about any chop deal or anything. So yeah. we kept it clean. We we, we just, um, we were laughing. We we're having fun. 
and then somehow I had the momentum for the first two hours with him. Um, yeah. The right moves were made. Um, I know he played plays a little bit looser than me, so I, I kind of know him a little bit, and he knows me as well. So it was fun to try to like reverse, reverse, reverse psychology each other. <laughs> um, so it was pretty cool and um, very, very, very happy about it, and it was very excited about it as well. So. Um, all of a sudden, he put me in the spot uh, when I flopped top pair with the queen kicker, um, and I ended up making the call, and um, I doubled up, and then started to winning hands after hand. So I closed the gap all of a sudden to like, to, I had like a little bit over twelve million if I if I uh, remember, um, and he had a little bit over fourteen. So we're super close, you know, and the blinds were pretty big at that point. So this battle could have went for hours and hours and hours, um, and then at that point we decided to take a break and talk about a sort of a deal between me and him. And we ended up um, making a very good deal for both of us. Um, and the, the cool thing about that as well is we're playing the main event and then all of a sudden they announce us, they announced us that whoever wins this wins the play of the series as well, which I had no clue about it. I, I wasn't thinking about it. It was not part of my plan or anything. Um, so they told me, they told us uh, whoever finishes first wins the play of the series and whoever finishes second finishes fifth. So we it, it added up a little bit more fun to the matchup. Um, yeah. And at that point, we we were just looking at each other. It was just like, we couldn't realize like, oh my God, what's going on? Is this really for real? Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, so ended up making a deal, um, uh, him and I, and um, uh, we kept battling after that for an hour. I think the momentum switched back a little bit after that break. Um, and uh, good on him because he absolutely dominated the final table i was so proud oh, of him he, champion he, it's unbelievable like i know some people were saying oh well he got the cards or anything but it doesn't matter he he knew how to use his big stack he was yeah. opening so many hands um he knew what he was doing he had control and i was so proud of him and it's well deserved and for me it was a, a privilege to lose to him um at the end um but again i was proud of both of us and it was an amazing experience it was a, something that i will never forget in my life um and yeah, and it worked out well. And after three hours or three and a half hours, I think uh, the, it ended up with him uh, going runner runner uh, uh, pairs. And it just, uh, that's it. Well deserved. That was and it. Congratulations yeah. to him. And uh, yeah, it was very, very cool. <laughs> well, while you were making your own little deal, I can tell you, I don't know if you're aware or if anyone told you. But the live stream on the chats, Mina, it was so cool. Everyone's like placing their bets. There was messages <laughs> like, who do you reckon's going to win? Well, how much do you want to bet on a side bet? Oh blah, blah, blah. God. I know it was so cool to see that. Like everyone was just interacting. And it was so good to see the poker community getting amongst that, you know, um, with our local, you know, with our local. Yeah boys so to speak yeah so it was really good but i don't know if you knew that but yeah, that was no I, I didn't know about that <laughs> i must have been underdog because of this no. so, i'm sorry if i disappointed anyone i'm sorry I, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> well you were an underdog so the stakes are a little bit higher <laughs> a little bit just a little bit yeah just a little bit so mina um just with um your poker career because you haven't been down under for so long you are from canada and you did pretty yep. well while you're overseas um like us you know we've spoken before in the wsop etc um so now with this under your belt it gives you more confidence going into because i know you've played other big events like the wpt etc mm -hmm. international that's come down at the gold coast um does it give you a little bit more of that confidence boost to go into now, like, for example, a summer series that's coming at the Gold Coast, the bigger buy-ins, to say, hey, I've done this. Like, I can do it again. Um, to be honest with you, uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of new in the tournament um, lifestyle, like the grind and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm Obviously, you know that I'm a more of a cash player. But I starting to love it um it's obviously it's all about the confidence it's all about um yeah being surrounding by better people uh, that are better than you that have been there in this field for a long time or longer than you um so for me obviously it gave me all the confidence that i needed for the future so 
I was um, I had a very good start of the year. Then I went for like three, four months um, not winning anything, and then now it's restarting back. But I have to give credit to 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 many guys that were there for me and 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 were willing to share their their skills and how they would do that and and playing a line and and all these things. It helped a lot, a lot, a lot. And um, people like um, Dylan, um, Dylan Foster, and people like Bert Perry, um, people like Mike Maddox. Even back home, when I play online and and, and try to my with my close friends, like at uh, Mickey uh, Mickey's poker room, and it's like online <laughs> stuff. It's just really I, I used all the tools, all the tools possible um, to make myself a better player, a better tournament player, um, and. I give them all the credit and, and thank you so much for being patient with me and 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 letting me learn from you guys because it definitely helped. Um, whatever advices that I was getting, I was trying to use it to my advantage. I am a kind of a different player. I'm a, more of a life player, not online. Um, but at the same time, I needed some guidance. And this week at Townsville gave me a very big boost of confidence. And I can't wait for the next series. I can't wait for check raise this week. I can't wait for the summer series coming up in, um, in at the star, and then I can't wait till January comes, and then all over again we restart uh, like a whole uh, reset. reset. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's obviously I needed a little break, and um, that's why I've stayed an extra week in Townsville, and it was not really a break, but um, a break from poker. But uh, yeah. now um, you know we we try to um, we try to. To, to become even better now. Um, I'm happy with my result. Now we move on and a new chapter. Uh, I can't just hang out. I said, oh, okay, well, I finished second. I, I don't need to work on anything. No, I, I think it's the opposite. I think I need to use yeah. this boost to become even more dangerous of a player. So um, again, it, it helps a lot. It helps the confidence. It helps the, uh, the fact that, okay, now we've been there, done that. Let's do it again and, and even get better results than last year. So that's yeah. the plan, and uh, I'm trying to stay uh, on path and try to be even more dangerous than I am right now. Well, you're a very humble poker player. I can <laughs> vouch for sure. that. I've seen you play in many tournaments. Like I said, you know, even with WPT International, you just you're a very humble poker player and a well deserved um, winner. Well, second place to me, it's a winner. When you cash, you're winning. So you know. So with the <laughs> That's upcoming, of my mom though, my mom, she. Is, oh, look at you! Always, Thank you. It's always because of her. Uh, we have to stay Good on. on you. We have to. Um, always. This is a must. I agree. It's part of my life in anything, and um, yeah. it helps. It helps. It definitely helps. And uh, we we'll keep. Uh, we we'll keep grinding, and we we'll try to get even better results. Like I said, so. God love mom, and see. <laughs> yeah. I called it six months ago. Thanks, my young gun. I said, yeah, you remember this face, mate, because he's going to go places. I'm telling you. Anyway, so, um, okay, you mentioned Check Ray's Poker Championships. Yes, they are this week. They start on Wednesday right through to Sunday. Yes. So have you picked your tournaments, obviously, <clears throat> what you'd like to be playing? Um, oh. You lost me. Can you see me? I'm I can't gone. see you anymore, but I can hear no. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You keep going and I'll, uh, I don't know what's happened. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. No problem. Oh, this is terrible. What happened? See what happens with tech? Yeah, I am not good at it, and that's why I always call my little brother to help me out for anything. <laughs> Mate, you and me both. I call my little brother, but, you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Kill me. Anyway. Okay. We'll just do it without me now. That's okay. Everyone knows my voice. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know what's happened. It's gone. It just vanished on me. Let's see if this one works. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can back. you see me now? I can see you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I just switched cameras. <laughs> Sorry, people. 
So um, back to what we were saying, like with check rates. So have you picked um, what tourneys you'll be playing at the championships? Um, yeah, there's a few of them I already have my eye on. Um, uh, the the super high roller, the high roller, the bounty. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for play of the series because I had a little bit of a bad experience last time I tried to do that, playing five <laughs> different tables at the same time. So I am trying to focus on the, not necessarily the bigger events because it's bigger money, but I think it's uh, the more pre the, the most prestigious, prestigious one um, during that week. Um, and then I'll be there anyways, and I change my mind all the time, so I might play everything. So you never know. But uh, there's uh, there's those three that for sure I'm gonna play, um, and that's the plan. So I think the first one is on Thursday, um, and yes, then the followed by right? yeah, followed by the Friday and Saturday, or Saturday or Sunday for the bounty and the four hundred dollar one for the uh, the high roller. So mm -hmm. that's the plan. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to really burn myself and, and play many, many tournaments because there's a busy schedule coming up um, for the next few weeks um, at the Star Casino. There's even uh, the local um, uh, tournament, uh, Cypress Poker, yes. that uh, yeah. the free roll is happening in two, two weeks, I think, or in the last three weeks of November. So like I said, I don't want to burn um, myself and play as many tournaments as I can. I'm, I'm trying to just uh, pick and choose now and then um, take a little break after that and enjoy a little bit life and then restart the next year but that's the plan so far and but like i said i changed my mind a lot so you know yeah <laughs> well i know with the check raise um poker championships this time the play of the series the points is different yeah. to what it was previously yeah. so in saying that it will benefit players that go more up in the rank like so for example yes. placing wise so how you grind and like you've grinded in the last series and you have made it thus far but didn't get rewarded for that in essence you will be as a player now rewarded um for your play yeah. um ranking so to speak the higher up so if you make your final table you will be rewarded accordingly yeah, yeah which i, I think that. is great for a player of course, from a player's a perspective you know definitely, yeah definitely a way better system um, definitely not, not for me i'm not only talking for me but I, I've, I've heard so for so many players um i think the players that go deep in big tournaments they don't get rewarded yeah. enough for those points and um there's participation points and stuff like that i'm glad that they actually took that off um and now they can reward the, the like the real grinders you know that the people that make a lot of effort to go so deep in tournaments and yeah the end maybe the little something to reward them said hey good job you know like you've made it the uh, final table final table uh you know you didn't have to play 17 tournaments and not cashing it and, you know it's like <laughs> run it's from here to there and that's why yeah so that's why i'm i'm, I'm kind of tempted to even to try maybe to go for it and we'll see we'll see i'm gonna sleep on it for the next couple of days and then decide from there um but definitely um it would be something cool to win. Obviously, it's 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 always uh, it's always be it's always good to be player of the series, um, to be recognized for your efforts and, and and your grind. You know. Definitely, I agree totally. So, Mina, I've just got a few um, photos I picked up here along the way. Okay. So, first one, <laughs> first one is look at that. Oh, <laughs> how cool is that? It's pretty cool. Hey? It's pretty all that, cool. Yeah. All that green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was surprised that they paid me all cash to be honest, but uh, I didn't mind. You know, it's good for the picture and. <laughs> and that's so, your smile, of course, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Usually, I'm sorry, I don't smile. <laughs> that's so me. Very I saw happy. it. I was like, I that's know, right? I was very, like, very, very happy. So get used to it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like. But Mina is smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I got this one with you and yes. Yeah, I thought that was just, that is it's, just poker it, off the table. You know what I mean? It gives me, um, yeah. and honestly, I look at it again, it gives me goosebumps. Like, again, like I said, it, it seems like uh, it's unreal. It's actually unreal how, how that happened. And uh, like I said, I was so happy for him um, that he actually... Yeah won it and the fact that we we just battled so hard to try to get it and everything and even if we made a deal we still both wanted to win it um and then if you notice at the end we started to loosen up a little bit we got the alcohol into us and yeah. it was like, <laughs> it 
<laughs> so it was pretty I cool. was like, oh my God, Mina's drinking alcohol? Like, I know, what's I going know. on? Like, I what know, happened? I know, you, break, I know. you break the rules. <laughs> I know, but it's okay. I'll, I'll break it again if um, yeah. I can see the boat in the final table. Heads up again. It's like no problem. So that's a picture that I would always keep uh, in, in my everywhere, everywhere I go, because it's an amazing memory and it's something that I would never, ever, ever forget. And uh, I really, really hope it can happen again um, because it was such a special moment that I would, again, I will never forget. Yeah, very special. And look, I'll tell you, it was a pleasure watching you all. Like <laughs> it was because, you know, everyone too. And it was like, oh, wow. You know, it's just, it did give you goosebumps to know that so many of Brisbane made the final table, which was just fantastic. It's, it's not great. a coincidence, though. There, there's, there's a lot of good players, a lot of good players in Brisbane yeah. um, in our basically in our group here. And it's so fun to compete against these guys because we starting to all know each other and all know our, like our, the way we play and stuff like that. So it makes it even more difficult, but it's so fun to compete against them. Um, and then the fact that, again, it was me, Aroha, um, Rorin, Lee, even um, my mate Anthony, um, French guy who was sitting beside yeah, me. French, yeah, French, yeah. Yeah, so it was so competitive because they're so good and it, it, they're your friends as well. So you have to compete with them, you have to go through them to win it. So it was a lot of mixed emotions that day and for so many hours. So like when you when one of them gets out, um, yes, you get closer to the to the, to the first place but at the same time you're not happy that they're out because they're your friends you know and and this is not me saying oh no i was like anti-sweating them of course not i would always love to for them to win um but then obviously against me i was cheering for me <laughs> which yeah is, of course <laughs> but, um but yeah so it, it was a lot of a lot a lot of fun so something yeah. again i will never ever forget yeah it was what they say a mad experience it was mad. It was yeah. really mad. <laughs> yeah. I just want to show uh, My family as well was watching and Lee's family oh, was cool. watching. It was so crazy. It was so cool. Like, it was just <sighs> unreal. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. What's your family think, Mina? They must have been, like, so chuffed. Oh, my brothers were texting me the whole time and, and, yeah. and, and telling me, oh, this guy had that, this guy had this. They, like, they're not very experienced in poker, but they were telling me the hands. Like, they were so involved. And I had, obviously, friends telling me, because the, the stream was half an hour, obviously delayed. So I get like information and, and stuff like that half an hour. And I know all the other guys had the same thing. Um, but it was so cool to have my brothers involved in that. And then my mother, like she doesn't understand anything about poker, but I was sending her pictures and sending her stuff. And she was like sweating with me. And I, like, it was just like, <laughs> it was so cool. Like, it was just like, oh my God. Okay. So um, it was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. And then uh, Lee's telling me about his family watching him as well. And, and it was just like phew, unreal. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this photo. I had to, I've got to put this one up because yes. this for me is what I see. <laughs> yeah. Mina. I, see I know. <laughs> <laughs> the epitome of Mina at a poker table, right? This is you in full force mode poker, right? You ready? Show me, show me. Yeah. I'm showing you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is this that is me not smiling. Yeah. <laughs> That's really not smiling. <laughs> no, it's um it's crazy because so you, you you know me Sula and a lot of people yeah. know me. I love to laugh and I love to yeah. to have fun and I'm I'm like it's just my vibe, you know. It's just the, the way we are between us like it like look at me and Lee, we just always laugh all the time, yeah. always sarcastic to each other, but there's a switch that you have to completely turn off when you're on the table um and that's basically what i've learned my in the last seven eight years of my life at on the poker table that's it i'm a different person um you just switch off and i think you saw it on the stream and you've probably Definitely. seen it so many times that it's just yeah. uh build up a square here and good luck getting into it uh the only one who can beat me it's myself so um that's how i believe it i i sit down on a table and literally that's what i say to myself um, no one is going to beat you except you. So, and I yeah. try to stay in this bubble and if it's going to take 10 hours, if it's going to take 10 days, I'm not changing it. So, um, yeah, that picture you what, represents. Yeah. It was the body <laughs> language of, of all players, you know, um, you obviously 
you know, see it yourself too. But just watching the stream, you get to see it um, on a different perspective, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you actually see them like even with yourself, you know, when you sit there and then all of a sudden you'll get your cards. But then I like when you always go like with the hands, like your arms are like. <laughs> and I'm oh, like. Well, I have my little. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and it's like. It was almost okay. like when I used to play um, soccer um, professionally back in the days. Um, yeah. I had. I had a way to put my socks on. I had a way to put my shoes on. I had a way to get on the field. It's almost the same in poker. Before I play the hand, sometimes you'll notice things that I always, always do. Um, it doesn't matter if I have a bad hand or a good hand. I always do the same things. Um, yeah. So I don't I'm very know. consistent. I'm I can tell crazy. you that much. Maybe I'm a bit crazy, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mina, we will see you then at the Czech Rose Poker Championships this week. You will. And yeah. um, on behalf of the Buzz, we wish you, like, and all the other players, but speaking with you now, wish you all the best of luck. And um, I really do hope you come home with that first this week. I really do. It's about time, no? I'm yeah. I'm uh, yeah, well. finishing second, third or fourth. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> well, you got second with the high roller too. The last I know, uh, check I know, race. Yeah. I know. Uh, with with Rory, again, my the... very good friend Rory. I know, Rory. Like, <laughs> can I just play against people that I don't know? Like, can can, can that happen? <laughs> <laughs> See what we can do, eh? <laughs> but now we wish you the best of luck. Um, Thank you very much. I believe you have a great future ahead of you in the poker world. And like I said, I did call it. I only saw you play um, three, three tournaments. Yeah. And I was telling everyone on the sidelines, you better watch this one. He's a young gun. He's going to come up through the ranks. You wait and see. You wait and see. And see? Hmm. I'm going to start still, side bets. <laughs> still, still, yeah. I still have a lot to prove. Um, but uh, of course. thank you so much um, for everything. Thanks for having me. Um, no, it's you're always welcome. a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, Sula. And I want to give some shout outs to, to different people that helped me out too so far. And um, like I said, I named them before. I'm, I'm going to name them again. And I'm sorry if I forgot anyone. But Dylan Foster, thank you so much for your help. Bert Perry, thank you so much. Mike Maddox, so much. I appreciate it so much, your time, guys. And I really, really appreciate everything that um, you've implemented to my game. Um, Mickey, my best friend in Melbourne, Dave, my best friend, they're always there for me when I needed them to, for anything, when I'm down and everything. Um, thank you guys. And basically there's so many people I want to thank, but these guys, those are the first five that come in my mind. Um, yeah. thank you, Mickey Poker's room. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, ABC. Thank you all you guys. Thank GG Poker. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you made me a different, you've made me a different, uh, a different animal for sure. And I will always, always remember that. And I wish uh, or I hope I can give you even more next year or even for the end of the year. Um, I love you guys. And uh, th again, Sula, thanks for having me uh, here today. No, Mina, my pleasure as always. And it'll be good to see you in person again um, yes. as always. But um, so this will be the end of our show. We'll, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you all soon. This is Sula. Coming to you live from the high.